mentioned your friend group uh, going to grad school, but you also had the same friend group or similar friend group in that course um, in that uh, throughout your undergrad. Right. And you would say, you would ask everybody like each other after a big test or after a test, something that I found was so unique. Um, when you got results back, did you ask them how, how they did? So what we did as a friend group, we would typically ask how you felt. How did it go? How do you feel? Rather than sort of being like, oh, what'd you get? Because in commerce and accounting, you don't need that extra sort of layer of comparison. It's a competitive environment. You don't need to have something to make you feel shit about yourself or whatever. Having numbers to compare where everyone's level of success is so different. So that was so irrelevant to us. Um, and because we were so close as sort of um, a study group, a friend group, whatever, we didn't need that extra level of comparison or competition within each other that we didn't feel that that was important. If you did your hardest, you uh, put your pen to your paper, you felt you crushed it. If you said amazing, that like, I felt really good, then that's all that mattered to us. Or if you, if you didn't feel it felt it went well or whatever, then of course we are there for emotional support, but sort of taking that element out of numbers and comparing it's so it's not going to get you anywhere it's just going to either make you feel like shit or what make yourself feel better for three seconds but you're realizing you're putting your friend down yeah. right so it's so not worth it um I do recommend that strategy if people sort of have friends in the program or whatnot stop don't ask numbers it doesn't mean anything at the end of the day um what what their number is to them could be a completely different number to you so if you just ask how they felt or whatever I felt that was a much more healthy approach um, and just sort of checking in and making sure everyone um, is doing okay and or if you're there to celebrate their success for them. Um, yeah, that was sort of our approach. I first time I'd ever seen or heard that and I just I loved it and I wish I wish that I would have either thought to ask somebody that when I was a student or you know thought to ask that before as as a prof. And mm -hmm. the one thing I try to never do is um, you know, I love it when people come to my office hours and try to debrief tests when they got, you know, 97% or when they got 7%, you know, right? it's like, Hey, yeah. let's treat this. Let's treat this the same. Cause I don't know, but right. as a student, I really wish that I would have had that, you know, that wherewithal to kind of ask. Um, and mm -hmm. if somebody said, ask me a question, like if somebody was like, Oh, how did you do? I'd be like, I feel good about this, or I don't feel good. And kind of turning that into, into the relative um, feelings, because that's what it is. I don't want somebody to feel better or worse. I don't no. want to feel better or worse just because of, yeah. Um, a number that really doesn't in the big scheme of things, it really doesn't mean anything. Means and in nothing. the short term, like you said, three seconds. Woohoo. Yeah. And so if you, if you are finding, cause I found sometimes other peers or people in the class would still ask, Oh, what'd you get? I found the confidence to be like, I'm not comfortable telling you that, or I, you know yeah. what, like it went well or tell them how I felt. If people, if you find people are still asking you and you're not comfortable, you don't like the feeling of when people ask you, you don't have to say it means nothing. Guess what? They're going to forget about in three seconds. Um, yeah. And yeah, just, I say, stick up for yourself. <laughs> yeah, absolutely.